Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's do some tests on some minerals to see if we can identify them. And we will first go through color. Like for instance, we'll look at the color of this. This would be red. And then after that, what we're going to do is we'll test our hardness. We'll use our fingernail. We'll use a penny, a nail, some glass. Okay. Then we'll do a streak test using either white or black. We'll test for magnetism, and then we'll see if there is any reaction with a very mild acid. So let's get started with our first rock. Okay, with mineral number one, the color is kind of green and white. Okay. Next, let's check the luster. The luster appears kind of greasy or pearly. Next, let's check the streak using a streak plate. And the streak is, you can tell, white. Okay. From the streak test, let's try hardness. I'm going to try to scratch it with my fingernail. Remember, I could use the penny, the nail, or the glass. So I'll try with my fingernail. And my fingernail scratches it. So I would say its hardness is uh, probably around 1. Let's see if it's magnetic. No. And then let's see if it will react with a weak acid. I have vinegar in here, and it does nothing. So there is mineral one. I will have an answer key and a guide in the notes below, so check that. So as you go along, you can take your best guess and then check your work. Okay, here's our next, and color-wise, it's kind of... Uh, almost glassy color. It almost it, like reflects light back. Its luster definitely is glassy. Okay. Next, uh, let's try a streak. And I got to be really careful with this, but streak wise, kind of a, you can see right there, kind of a very dull white. Okay. Next, let's try hardness and I can scratch it with my fingernail, but I can scratch it with my penny. So I would say it's between one and two, okay? And then as you can tell, it has uh, very extreme cleavage. So there's this one. Oh, let's check to see if it's magnetic. No. And see if it reacts with a acid no so there's this mineral on to the next one okay we have our next mineral you can tell it's kind of a blackish red its luster is almost metallic if you I shine it just right okay let's check the streak using a streak plate and you can't tell there but Streak looks brown. Here's the streak. Streak is brown. Next, let's try the hardness. And um, I can't scratch it with my fingernail. It scratches a penny, a nail will not scratch it. Let's try the glass. It scratches the glass slightly, so I would say its hardness is somewhere around 6, between 5.5 and 6. Let's see if it's magnetic. Ooh, absolutely. Very magnetic. Okay. And then finally, does it react with an acid? No. So, there's that mineral. Let's move on to the next. Okay, our next mineral, you can obviously tell it is a white color. Okay, next, uh, I would say the luster is between glassy and, let's try, earthy. Okay, let's see if it ha leaves a streak. Flip this over. And it leaves a very distinct white streak. Okay, hardness. 
it will scratch my fingernail barely but it is scratched whoop I don't want to try the nail I jumped ahead sorry it will be scratched by the penny so I would say the hardness is between 2.5 and 3 now let's see if it's magnetic no and then let's see if it will react to okay I see a tiny tiny bit of fizzing so it reacts very slightly to acid our next mineral has a white color okay I would say the luster is almost glassy or virtuous let's see if I can leave a streak in fact it has no streak because it scratched the streak plate so I can say it has a hardness of seven because it scratched the plate is not magnetic and no fizzing at all on to the next mineral our next mineral color is green with some gold looking crystals okay very nice luster I would describe it as metallic reflects light next let's try the streak it is there's a nice streak blackish brown okay now hardness obviously it is not seven uh, I'm gonna jump and it will scratch a penny whoops a nail does not scratch it so let's get to the glass plate and it scratches the glass plate I know it's hard to see but it scratched the glass plate so I would say it is around six it is not magnetic and no reaction with an acid next obviously this rock is red I would say its luster is dull okay streak oh look at that that's a very nice red streak now let's try its hardness I I can already tell it's going to have a hardness greater than three so scratches the penny I'm going to go ahead and jump to the glass and it scratches the glass and since it left a streak I know that it's less than seven I would say its hardness is six it looks like it should be magnetic but it is not and no no reaction at all to the acid